Hello and welcome back to this tutorial for Corel PaintShop Pro X9 where I'm going to look at making a HDR image from a single raw image. When I look at the organizer here you can see I'm going to work on the picture of this white car. Now I have extracted a image here from it which is basically a simple edit but it doesn't have that great vibrance that we look for in a HDR shot. So I'm going to use the raw image to create this shot. This is a HDR image that I got from that single raw image as well. Now how I got that particular image was I took my raw image and I right click on the mouse and I choose HDR single raw photo. Now depending on the ham the camera you have you can do a bracketed set of photographs or you could use your raw editor to create a set of photographs from a single raw image um, altering the exposure of those images so you end up with five or however many uh, images that have the, exactly the same photograph but at different exposure values. So what we're going to do with this raw image here is basically do that but in an automated way. It does only allow us to do three images but that's okay. The middle image here is pretty good but we could play with that. We could make it a little bit brighter or a little bit duller uh, but it's about right. And then I'm going to set my I'm going to set my three images up to be about 1.7 stops apart and I'm going to split the photo fairly straightforward. So down here you will end up with three images produced from the raw image and one will be slightly darker, one will be slightly lighter and one should be right in the middle. Now I'll hit process and it will produce a series of different photographs from those three raw images and all the manual settings are down the bottom here and you can play with those to produce images of your preference. I usually find one of the six default uh, pictures that it produces suit my needs. So let's have a look at default one. That's really, really bright and it's really quite overworked. So there's a lot of noise on that. So I'm not really keen on that one. Uh, this is a bit softer, still a bit dreamy for my liking. Uh, three is very bright. I do like that one though. Looks really good on the uh, the other coloured cars around the blue, the orange, and the green. But it and it's made this white one sort of have a bit of a silvery tone. But that's okay. It looks good. Uh, this one's also picked up the highlights quite well, but it's a bit of distortion, a little bit greyer. There's one with very faded colours, but it's still got that high dynamic range. So you get all the the pop of the photograph, and then you have a full black and white. Uh, photograph there. For this I'm going to choose default 3 and I'm going to click process and it's going to go through and produce that as a PSP image. Okay and you can save and close because I did that already. So let's have a look at our HDR image we have now. Okay now I'm also going to drag in the photograph as my baseline. Okay, and it's going to end up sitting in front of it. I'm going to change the name of background. I'm just going to change it to back. Okay, and what that allows me to do is actually grab it and move it in front. Okay, so you can't do that if it's called background. Background always has to be the lowest layer. Now we could leave it, we could un unselect this image and we could look at our high dynamic range image. But what I want to do is make that the object of this photograph. So even though the other cars around it look really good, what I'm going to do is basically remove them. In fact, for the purpose of this photograph, what I might do is actually leave the three colored uh, Holdens in the picture and just take all the background back to being standard. Okay, so to do that, 
I need the edge tool. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do here is select all three cars. Now, normally I'd just be doing the one car and go along the edge of that car, but I'm actually going to try and do this. So to do that, I have to think carefully about what I actually want in. So choose the edges, and as the green car is not connected with the others, I'm going to have to do a bit of trickery here. Come down and do the edge. And from here I'm going to go over to maybe here. Select the edge of the car. So you have to think in advance really what you're doing. I'm going to go back over to this point here and now I'm going to just follow the line of the the white car. As I said you can pick up more of this as you go. And double click here and that will create one large area. Okay, so now I have my area selected that I want to see, but I don't actually have the front image turned on, which is this one. You can see the area is still there. So what I want to do is hide this area that I can see that I've selected so that the brighter picture will come through from behind. So I go to new layer, new mask layer. So I want to hide this, this is on top. So I hit hide and now all the bright colors come through. I'll do a control D to get rid of the marks. So for the most part, they're pretty good all around here, around the edges. Even if we um, even if we zoom in, so we'll grab that. We're on the mask layer. We want our black and white, and we're going to go close in. I hold the shift key down hmm, so that it will let me drag it. What have we got we got a bright bit on the edge here. See if I use my right mouse button, it takes the HDR image out and replaces it with. The image behind because I'm changing the mask. Okay, so I've got to be very careful here. So you can see the edge. Let's move the image around. See the bit of tire here got caught in the cross flow, so I have to hit the right mouse button, take the tire out, and then go a little bit more further to the right and come back with the left mouse button and put it in again. So I'm just basically, you go around and you tidy up all the edges. Okay, so here's another one you can see. So again, left mouse button, darker, right mouse button brings it through. So I'm going to sort this out. And you've got to go all around the car and fix up all these. If you hold the shift key down, it turns into a hand and you can drag it. No, that doesn't work either. Okay. So I'm picking this up. And you just painstakingly have to go around the whole vehicle. Okay, to to basically clean it up. You can see, oh, there's a little bit there. Pick the edge. Because it's in a shadow, it comes up quite well. You can see here, it's a little bit dark, so I need to use the right mouse button to clean that up a bit. So I'm going to go around and, and just complete this all up because like over here now we see the road. Like this isn't very good at all. So we basically have to clean this up and take the HDR part of the image out. I'm going to need a bit of a bigger to do that. So if I go in here, start with the right mouse button again and just basically paint out the HDR part of the image. If you make a mistake like I just did there, you can go back with the right mouse, uh, sorry, with the left mouse button and paint it back in.
So I'll come back when I finish doing all this. So I'm nearly done and you can see I've still got, you tend to get a fair bit of this just where the edge tool catches the wrong. So it's right mouse button out and left mouse button in. So I'm nearly done. Bit missed along the edge there. So you just go along the edge. Remember you have the same image right up in the background. So it's not going to, all you're basically doing is painting highlights in and out and trying to get it to match. You can see here's the edge of this other car here. And we've got that. And again, if you go too far and you get a light spot, you just use the other mouse button to paint it out. Because with a mask over here, as you paint black, you can see through. As you paint white, it blocks it off. So basically because you can do, you can take it in and you can take it out, you can correct mistakes very easily on the fly. Okay, that's done a pretty good job. So I'll center that. There you go, we have it now. We have the three or four cars are all HDR, but you have a standard uh, background. And you could take the headlights out as well. You could take the windscreen out, depending on how you, you know what the look was you're going for. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that now. So what I'm going to do is use this tool up here, the Merge All Layers. And that leaves you with one single photo. Now, this has got a tilt in it. I don't like that tilting pictures so I use the tilt tool over there and we've got a nice white line there in front of the car so I utilize the line tool there put a line across there and I will tick up here and that will straighten the photograph it will crop the edges a little bit but there you go it's straightened the photograph uh, and I will save that so I'll save that as um, and for the sake of this, we'll save it as a HDR. Okay. And there it is. So it's all free to do watermark. You've seen the watermarks before. Uh, you get a warning there with that. That's all right. Uh, I will apply the watermark to it. Uh, visible watermark. Uh, I only have the Rev SP actually. Okay, I'll use the Rev SP because I don't have Lightyear, but that's fine. So there we go. I'll save that again now with a watermark. I'll just put watermark W for watermark on the end of that. And that's basically how you make a HDR image and merge it in with a normal image so that you end up with an object. In this case, it was a car being a lot brighter than the background. Hope you enjoy it.